Hi Plums, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Halloween edition makeup inspired look. I did another little poll on Instagram because you know how I love my Instagram polls. And I asked you guys to vote between four makeups. It was Wonder Woman, 80s, Audrey Hepburn, and a zombie. The winner was Audrey Hepburn. So here I present to you a modern inspired Audrey Hepburn makeup look. Hope you enjoy. So for the first step, I'm gonna be using my forever and always, my foundation powder by Pali Maquillaje. This one is a mineral foundation, so it does wonders on your skin. It lets it breathe, it covers really, really well. So I take my powder brush, we're gonna tap off the excess, and then we're gonna start applying all over the face. Then we take our concealer in powder two. This one is by Pali Maquillaje. It's in shade 01. By the way, the foundation was also in shade 01. They have four shades for every single product they have, except for highlighters, and they're all really, really nice. So same thing, we tap off the excess and we apply in all of the places where we would normally apply a liquid concealer. Up next, I'm gonna be using my blush by Bali. It's in shade Coral. <laughs> it's so funny, because it actually looks like this is a sponsored post for Bali. So I take very, very little, and I apply it on my cheeks because Audrey Hepburn normally had a very nude lip and not a very colorful cheek, but she would always focus on her eyes. She had such an effortless beauty, but the shape of her eyes, that almond shape, made her look good in any single eye makeup she applied. Up next, since we're gonna be using a really heavy makeup on the eyes, I'm gonna be applying a little bit of primer from this Dior Nude Backstage Palette. It's in shade Warm Neutrals. The reason why I am applying the primer before doing the eyes, like a long time before, is because it needs to dry before I start applying the eyeshadow. I am going to be taking this MAC palette. It's really, really old. I honestly do not know what the purpose of it was. I think it was a Marie Antoinette collection. And I'm gonna be taking this highlighter right here. So we tap off the excess and we're gonna apply it in all of those places where we normally would. I just love how glowy this highlighter is. But now so we can make our eyebrows shine, let's use this Bali Maquillaje powder brow color in tone chocolate so i use a lot of things in powder but this is because they're mineral foundation mineral stuff mineral concealer mineral blush mineral everything so it all comes in a powder presentation and this really allows your skin to breathe and you can actually use it every day without any harm you don't get any pimples or zits or like blocked pores or anything, so they're pretty great. So this brand is sold in Mexico. Maybe you won't be able to get it that easily, but there's many other alternatives like Bare Minerals. That's also another great mineral brand that I love. So we are gonna start moving to the eyes. I'm gonna be going back to that Dior Backstage palette in Warm Neutrals, and I'm going to be using this nude color over here. We're gonna apply that all over the eyelid, and that's gonna be the base for our makeup. So we did it very, very lightly since it's just working as a base. So we're gonna go back to that same palette and we're going to be using this light brown shade. We're gonna apply that all over the crease with our crease brush. This is going to be like the second base so that our makeup looks very neutral underneath and we put all the focus on the black eyeshadow. Scary, right? Black eyeshadow. So my third base color, you might be going like, what? A third base color? 
but yes. I'm going to be applying this darker shade of brown, very, very little, just a single tap, and then we tap off the excess, and we're gonna go over it on the brown. We take our smudge brush, and we're gonna smudge it all out, because we want this to be very, very well blended and neutral. Like I mentioned, what we want is to highlight the black eyeshadow. So now we're gonna go back to that Marie Antoinette MAC palette. And as you can see here, there's a really, really dark black shade. I'm gonna be taking my flat and thin eyeliner brush and I'm gonna be going over that in the separation of the crease. So I'm not gonna talk through this part because I am terrified to do it. So I'm gonna go back to the smudge brush and we're gonna smudge it out. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but women from her era used to do a lot of cut crease. They just loved making their eyes very pronounced and their eyes were normally the feature. Nowadays, it's mostly the lips with that bold lip color, but back in their decade, it was the eyes. So I'm gonna go back with that black now that it looks kind of grayish and I'm gonna draw an even finer line in the cut crease. So this one we're barely going to smudge it out, but just a little bit to make it softer. So then we're going to be taking the same eyeliner brush and we're going to draw on top of our eyelid a very thin black line from the half to the end of your eye. So Audrey actually did the whole eye but on my kind of eyes, it looks, it makes them look really, really small. So I'm gonna do half of it. Either way, it is a modern Audrey Hepburn look. You can improvise. And on the bottom of our waterline, we are gonna be taking this white eyeliner. It's by Boutique in shade white. Some of you might get anxious to see me put this in my bottom waterline. So let's do that off camera. So I'm gonna be taking a clean crease brush and we're gonna go to that lighter shade of kind of like a grayish, dusty silverish white. And we're gonna go on top of that just below our brow bone. We take our mascara. In this case, mine is a Stay Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. And then we're gonna do little twirlies because woman from her era had huge eyelashes and they weren't even false. And then as I am looking at myself with my almost finished makeup, I feel like I could use a little bit more black liner on the top of my eyelid. So I'm gonna be taking this really, really tiny travel kit one from Claire Holmes. It's in shade black. I'm gonna follow that same line on where I applied the eyeshadow. So then I'm gonna be taking this nude wet and wild lipstick. It's in shade 902C. It's a very, very nude, nude. <laughs> but this was also a very popular color from woman in her era. And that is it, you guys. This is your modern Audrey Hepburn inspired makeup look. Of course, you can apply a little bit more black, a little bit more gray, a little bit more color, a little bit more intensely. It all depends on your taste, on your eye shape, and what you want to inspire other people and what you want to reflect on your makeup. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.